Malaysia is located on the Coral Triangle, which is also known as the Global Centre of Marine Biodiversity. Its islands and beaches are popular holiday destinations for the local and foreign tourists. However, with coastal activities increasing dramatically over the years, would the environmental health of coastal and marine life take a backseat? Melissa Ong has more. <laughs> White sandy beaches, crystal clear blue sea and underwater haven are synonymous to Pulau Redang, one of the many beautiful islands in Malaysia. And local and foreign tourists would flock into Pulau Redang, located 45 kilometres offshore of Trunganu, to enjoy its beauty. However, when we joined a beach cleanup activity in Pulau Redang recently, it is obvious that civic consciousness among visitors to the island is low. Plastic bottles, tin cans, plastic food wrappers were strewn on the beaches. This irresponsible behaviour can and will leave a negative impact to our ecosystem. The deterioration of Pulau Redang may not be obvious in the eyes of the visitors, but for the locals, the situation is dire. Kalau 10 tahun dulu, kita boleh tengok petang-petang uh, burung helang tu berterbangan. Satu kumpulan dalam 10 ekor, lebih kurang. Sekarang nak nampak seekor pun susah. Puncanya disebabkan uh, rosaknya ekosistem Pantai ke apa ke namanya, perubahan, perubahan yang berlaku. Itulah yang kerosakan alam. As such, the initiative by the Malaysian Nature Society and Talisman Malaysia Limited to kickstart the environmental monitoring of marine and coastal ecosystems, MC project, is a step forward towards taking better care of Mother Earth. The project aims to train the locals living in Pulau Redang to undertake simple monitoring activities and recognise threats that can impact the marine and coastal ecosystem. Bila kita tak tahu pengalaman, cara nak menjaga apa semua, memelihara semua, Bila sekarang ada dah orang datang pendedahan lah cara-cara macam mana kita nak menjaga alam sekitar kehidupan dia. Meanwhile, the Malaysian Nature Society urges everyone to play their part to protect the ecosystem or face extinction of the biodiversity. When we overdevelop, places like this will more often not disappear. So Turtle Bay right here in Redang is an important, important conservation site. It's a site where we study turtles and it's a reminder to humans that we cannot keep encroaching into natural areas, especially in marine ecosystems. The MC project includes a study to track changes in the marine and coastal environments in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah and Pulau Redang, Trungganu. 329,000 ringgit has been allocated for the research, which covers a period of two years. Our goal is uh, environmental sustainability uh, in the communities that we work. Uh, we see this project, uh, which is essentially about, about protecting the environment, understanding the environment, uh, and providing information to, uh, to the local uh, inhabitants. The coast is a dynamic ecosystem and it is heavily influenced by activities on the land and also at sea. Therefore, we need to be more aware of the health of our coastal ecosystem and manage them properly so that our future generations would also be able to enjoy the beauty of our heritage. I'm Melissa Ong, Pula Redang, NTV7.